Halos 7 months na itong iPhone 13 mini sa market. And to think na gamit-gamit ko pa rin siya dito sa aking pocket, there must be something dito sa phone na ito na gustong-gusto ko at willing ko i-share sa inyo 7 months after ang review ko na itong iPhone 13 mini. Samahan niyo ako, share ko sa inyo ang aking story about this phone. Hi guys, ako pala si Richmond ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. And to think na gamit-gamit ko pa rin tong iPhone 13 mini until today, there is something really special about this one. And of course guys, nabili ko to before kay Gadget Plus TK by Mike Chu. And currently, this 4 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage sa iPhone 13 mini is priced at 41000 sa Gadget Plus TK. Check my link on the description box below para malaman nyo ang updated price nitong phone na ito. And of course, the box is pretty small. Actually, yung phone na sa labas na, no? gamit gamit ko siya for 7 months. And itong laman niya, there's one Type-C to lightning cable. And there's nothing more. Just some quick manuals and SIM ejector tool. Then, wala na. Very simple. Walang charger. And I love the color green from this series. Halos army green siya. And there's 6 colors to choose from. Starlight, midnight, blue, pink, red, and green. And this probably is my best option. And I love the color. 7 months ko nang siyang gamit, like I said. And sa ilalim, meron siyang antenna band, microphone in, lightning port, and loudspeaker. On one side, there's the power button. On top, wala. Just another antenna band. Dito sa kabila, ringer toggle, volume rocker, and of course, ang SIM tray na can on support one 5G nano SIM. Likod, meron siyang dalawang camera na 12MP, isang main lens na 12MP, and another one is the ultra wide na 12MP. LED flash, Apple logo, and nothing more. Sa harap nakatago sa kanyang notch is of course the 12MP front facing camera. Pag swipe up, kita natin very thin ang kanyang bezel, except siguro malaki lang ang nawawala sa notch. Now, after 7 months ko na siyang gamit, this phone is still pretty fast. Solid the solid siya. I love the feel on my hands. It's really small. Probably one of the smallest phone I've had since the iPhone 4S. And yes, I know na yung mga Nokia dati na mga maliliit, medyo nakakamiss. These days, mga phone is really big, chunky. This one, binalik ni iPhone to being minimalistic. And this frame is being protected by aluminum frames, meaning mas matibay siya compared sa mga plastic frames. And of course, ang kanyang screen is probably one of the best for a small phone like this. 5.4 inch, ang scan and screen size, Super Retina XDR OLED display, HDR10, Dolby Vision, and up to 1,200 nits ang kanyang maximum brightness. Meaning under the bright sunlight, okay na okay siya. Walang problema. Makikita mo lahat na naka-display pa rin dito sa phone na ito. And it's also being protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Front and sa likod. Plus may oleoproblic coating siya para halos hindi ko makapit ang tubig dito. And by the way guys, this phone, pwede nyo i-shoot sa tubig na walang problema. IP68 does and water resistant siya up to 30 minutes. Meaning kung nalaglag to sa inyong inidoro by accident, no problem. Of course, hindi siya resistant sa pupu. Like any iPhone 13 series, this is also equipped with the Apple A15 na Bionic 5 nanometer chip. It's the best from iPhone. Nag-start off siya sa iOS 15 and right now sa aka-update ko, pinaka-latest is iOS 15.4.1. And after all those updates, it has become a lot more smoother, mas maganda experience. Wala na ako masyado naging problema. Unlike noong unang labas niya, medyo may fulfill mo, may mga kunting mga glitches and bugs along the way. So after 7 months kong gamit tong phone na ito, right now, gusto ko share sa inyo ang aking experience using this phone. Of course, the first one is being the small form factor. So meaning, when I put it inside my pocket, shoot it inside my bag, my sling bag, or wherever I put it, there are times na nakakalimutan ko siya na may daladala kong phone dahil sa liit niya. Of course, sanay tayo sa mga Android na mga medyo malalaki. So, this one, medyo sa liit niya, nakakalimutan ko na meron pala akong dala. Ganon siya kagaan and ganon siya kaliit. So guys, bago tayo magpatuloy, gusto ko pakita sa inyo itong from Toras na screen protector na temper glass. It's called Snapiel. And ito ay ginawa para sa iPhone 13, 13 Pro, which is, well, of course, uh, hindi yan ang phone na pinag-uusapan natin kasi wala silang pinadalang 
Uh, tempered glass for iPhone 13 mini So si 13 Pro, ikakabit natin Papakita ko sa inyo kung gano'ng kaganda tong case na to And I've been using Toras for quite a while And yeah, I, I believe in their quality Ang kanya commitment is definitely unrivaled Simple but unique, sabi nila Okay, so most likely this is the tempered glass itself Kita natin, ang ganda ng kanyang packaging Okay, so this is the glass Okay, so ikakabit natin, papakita ko sa inyo kung how easy it is to uh, attach this one. So inside, ang dami ng borloloy. Okay, so meron pa siyang mga ano, no? guide. Meron pa siyang uh, wet wipes. Meron pa siyang user guide. At meron pa siyang ganito, no? pakit lang pero QR code na pang lifetime warranty. Ayos. And of course, itong panulak. So, ang sabi na dito, punasa muna natin ang ating phone. Then, patuyin natin. Then, gamitin natin ng uh, dust remover. Then, ikabit muna natin yung kaha, yung ano yung guide before natin ilagay yung tempered glass. Para saktong-sakto, okay? Then, itutulak natin. Then, tatanggalin natin yung case. And that's as easy as that. Ganun lang pala yun. Ang dali. Okay. So, tinan natin no, kung paano natin gagawin right now. And so there goes our original screen guard. Tabi mo na natin. Okay. Then next is to clean this one. Kamita lang natin itong fittings inside here. Ang tape niya, ang uh, wet wipes, and of course ang kanyang microfiber. So first stop is to clean it with a wet wipe. Okay. So patay na natin screen. Nasa lang natin ang basa. Okay, so make sure na thorough ang inyong paglinis. Ayan. Okay. So, ayan, kita natin na malinis na. Next is to clean. Okay. So, gamit natin microfiber niya. Okay, so make sure na tuyong-tuyo siya. This is to use ang kanyang dust remover kasi kita natin meron pa rin mga malilit na dust na makukulit kahit papado. So, yeah. This is how we do it. Okay. Then, ang ating final is to put this case. Ganito lang, kasimple. Parang ka lang naglagay ng kaha. Then, next is to put the glass itself. Nalasan yung glass. Hanapin muna natin. Uh, yun. Nandito pala, nakatabi. Okay. So, sabi niya, tanggalin mo muna ito. Kapit natin to. So, this is a guide. Okay. May guide naman tayo. So, to make sure na dalagang malinis, uh, just to be sure, ano lang uli natin, no? Before may kumapi pang dust. Okay. Kailangan mabilis ang aking kamay. Then, ilalagay mo lang ng ganun. Okay. Ganun kasimple lang. Ganun kasimple lang. So easy. Okay. Next is to kaid na lang. Okay. Tulakin na lang. And, ganun lang. Tapos na. Okay. Tapos ang problema. Ganda. And, kita natin pantay ang kabit, no? Dahil may guide siya. Yan ang ganda sa mga guides, eh. So, ayan, guys. Nakita na natin paano kabitin ang screen protector na tempered glass ni Toras Napiel. And, it's nice. Smooth ang feeling, oh, dito sa aking kamay. And, yep. This is definitely something you would like to invest when you have your iPhone 13 series. Now, one of the best thing dito na na-enjoy ko is one hand texting. The quick brown fox na gusto kaya ko i-type dito, kaya ko gawin siya in one hand. And of course, di ko to kaya gawin sa iPhone 13 Pro Max dahil sa laki niya. So, sa tagal ko na siyang gamit, I don't feel na nagiging sluggish tong phone. Uh, even though na just 60 hertz lang siya, well, of course, I would have expected something more from an iPhone. Kahit 90 hertz man lang. But, yun lang siguro ang downside nito, iPhone 13 mini. Wala siyang refresh rate na up to 90 hertz. Which is, yun ang hinahanap-hanap ko dito. Making it a lot more smoother. But, uh, given na ang ganda ka display, probably medyo na-offset naman kahit pa paano. Now, I've been using this phone a lot, especially when I go out, yung ayaw ko magbitbit ng mga malalaking phone. Ito ang binibitbit ko dahil sa liit niya. And ang bilis niya makasagap ng 5G signal. Right now, gamit ko is smart 
and naka 5G naman siya all the way kahit dito sa bahay, wala nang nagiging problema sa aking signal. Malakas naman sumagap itong iPhone 13 mini. Some of the things na gustong-gusto ko sa iOS 15 is ang dami mo widgets na pwede ilagay, pwede mo rin ikalat ang yung home screen, or pwede mo i-organize just like this one. But of course, syempre nakakamiss ang mga app drawer like sa Android and it's definitely something na nakakamiss dito sa iOS. Now, checking some quick benchmark dito after 7 months, I can say na hindi siya nag-slow down. It's still getting a good decent scores and to the benchmark at 700,000 points. Maganda rin ang score na kuha niya sa Wildlife Extreme as well as sa Geekbench. Now, ang battery nito is probably one of the smallest na alam ko, 2,438 mAh. And surprising, halos every single day na gamit ko tong iPhone 13 mini, nakaka-survive siya ng one whole day. And that's probably one of the mind-blowing facts na kahit maliit ang kanyang battery, kaya na mag ng one whole day. Given na ang daily task ko is, well, of course, Almost always naman ako nakakonek sa Wi-Fi, so lesser on the data, using social media, watching videos, uh, using it for Zoom chat, and a little bit more other activities like calls, and not too much on the gaming side. Kasi medyo mahirap mag-gaming dito sa phone na ito dahil sa liit niya, nagka-cramp ang aking mga fingers. Except siguro kung pwede kayo makabili ng mga attachment like game pads or others para ma-feel mo experience dito playing on this phone. Another thing na hindi ko masyado gusto dito sa iPhone is hindi pa rin nila nilagay ang fingerprint scanner sa on-screen or kahit lagay man lang nila dito sa gilid would be a lot better for me. Of course, unlocking using the Face ID is a lot more hassle kasi most of the time naka-face mask tayo in this pandemic. So, medyo napapadalas ako magpindot ng codes dito sa screen. Now, checking social media on this phone definitely ang smooth, ang sarap. Well, as expected from any iPhone, the one of the best uh, devices for well watching social media is still for me ah, iPhone. Now, one of the best things dito sa iPhone is ang ganda ng kanyang screen and watching videos here is okay. But of course, sometimes when you're watching blockbuster movies dito is a little bit cramped. Feeling mo, parang bitin ang yung screen size. Could have been better if you watch it on a iPhone 13 Pro Max, but dito, it's, since it's super portable, ang liit niya, well, pwede naman pagtyagaan watching videos on this one, but uh, the on the upside, ang ganda ng kanyang screen, vibrant and punchy ang kanyang colors. I have nothing much to complain. And this phone has stereo speakers, one underneath, and the other is hidden dito sa earpiece. And the sounds is just A-OK. Hindi naman siya sobrang lakas, but it's just average for me. Of course, the one from the iPhone 13 Pro is a lot more louder, giving you better experience when you're watching videos and watching movies and, of course, playing games. Now, uh, there's always an option for you to use something else, like this one. I've been using this a lot, the Nokia P3600. And I love this one. Ang ganda ng kanyang case. It's color silver. Parang ano, chrome finish. And bit-bit-bit-bit ko siya lagi. No? And the earbuds is really small. I love its texture. Ang sarap ikabit sa tenga. I use this a lot, especially when uh, watching videos on YouTube and of course doing some Zoom calls. It's very comfy. I can attest to you guys that this one can last you roughly around 21 hours straight usage. Ha? And I have been carrying this with me for the last 7 months as well. And of course, uh, Tatak Nokia, alam naman natin, matibay siya. I love yung ano, niya, feel niya. Especially when I'm going to gym, this one accompanies me and gives me all those music na gusto kong pakinggan. And hindi siya basta-basta nalaglag sa aking tenga. And the music is, well, pretty nice. I love every single beat from this one. It's pretty much balanced but of course, uh, pag nilakasan mo, ma-feel mo talaga ang premium ng kanyang sounds dito sa Nokia P3600. And I'll be posting on the link below ko saan pwede mabili ito. It's definitely something that worth investing if you love to listen to music and medyo mahina ang sounds coming from your existing phone. Now, since sinabi ko sa inyo, this one has dual speaker. Pakinggan lang natin quickly ang sounds coming from this phone. Wave, they can ride me. Pull up in a foreign to the curb, looking icy. I ain't never stressed about a few. 
And the sound is not really that loud, kaya most of the time, bitbit ko tong Nokia P3600 to offset yung sounds niya, no? And of course, this one being the better choice when you're listening together with this one. Ang bilis mag-connect lang sa iPhone, itong Nokia P3600, walang kaproblema-problema. And what's nice, no, is kahit mag-gaming ako, okay siya, low latency siya. Grabe, I really love this one and I think you should try this one out too. Now, since sa pag-usapan naman natin gaming, pakita ko lang sa inyo quickly ano itsura pag naglalaro ako dito, no? Kahit medyo cramp siya, uh, pakita ko lang sa inyo quickly ang mga settings na meron dito sa Call of Duty Mobile plus ang kanyang gameplay. Now, ito best setting na kaya natin ilagay for iPhone 13 mini. So, panorin lang natin ang quick gameplay. Na nakita na natin ang gameplay guys, ang kanyang graphics is definitely nice. And what I like about it is, well of course, A15 siya, expect nothing better. Dahil pareho ka ng chipset sa iPhone 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, dito sa iPhone 13 mini. So expect mo ang performance is almost the same naman dun sa mga kanyang bigger na kapatid. So gameplay is definitely nice, except medyo cramp ang yung mga daliri, halos... Kinain na ng daliri mo ang space and of course, umiinit nga talaga dito sa likod when you're playing long hours dito sa iPhone 13 mini. Probably that's the only reason bakit hindi ako masyado nagigaming dito sa phone na ito. Now, on the upside, ang kanyang camera is definitely one of the stunner dito. And there's a lot of modes na pwede mong gamitin dito from photo, normal photo, to portrait, to panoramic. Then sa kabila, meron kang video. There's a lot of features sa pwede mong gamitin, standard, rich contrast, vibrant, warm, and of course, cool. I, of course, uh, gusto ko pa rin si standard dahil mas sharp pa rin ang mga photos lalabas dito sa standard. Taking photos using this phone on broad daylight and outdoors is definitely one of the best na na-try ko in any smartphone. It simply is iPhone, one, and two, it's ang ganda ng kanyang camera. Well, of course... But of course, the Pro Max could always be a little bit better than this one compared to the Mini, but the quality is okay. One of the downside with this camera is shooting photos at night. Uh, lalo sa dark scene, hirap siya, nagpipixelate, and of course, medyo grainy. So, yeah, probably kailangan mo ng kunting lighting so kahit sa gabi. Just to take a little bit more decent photos using this camera. Now, ang kanyang front selfie camera is almost the same sa kanyang rear camera was able to take in some really nice shots pag broad daylight, pag outdoors, okay na okay. Pero pagdating sa indoors, medyo mahinang ilaw, same, grainy nila effect. Now, uh, one of the best things dito sa phone nito is when you're using this for vlogging. Though, there are times na medyo matagtag siya. Hindi siya pinaka-stable na camera na nagamit ko for vlogging. But with its form factor, ang liit niya, ang gaan, I can hold this for siguro kahit... 30 minutes na gano'ng hawa ko. I think there's not much of a problem as compared to holding a Pro Max for 30 minutes. I'm sure, ngalay na ngalay na aking kamay. There are some of those days na ayaw ko lang magdala ng bag and having this phone, definitely, ang bilis ko i-shoot sa aking bulsa, then pack up, then go. And, well, it's so simple, it's so light, it's so small. It fits any pocket, kahit mga pocket ng mga bata. Parang nga siya laruan eh, to be honest with you. And I love its form factor. Sobra niyang daling bitbitin. As opposed sa mga mas malaki tulad nito, si Pro. Now, to summarize to you, after 7 months of using, the reason bakit ko lagi siyang gamit pa rin until now is dahil ang liit niya. Ang lakas ng kanyang processor, any task na bigay ko dito, wala ka problema. Camera niya is okay. Though, of course, you don't expect to play games on this one. 
and browsing the social media is a delight on this one. Kahit wala siyang 60 hertz refresh rate, okay lang. Dahil ang ganda ng ganyan display, na offset naman, watching videos on this one is okay lang, simply lang. Well, of course, if you're watching blockbuster movie, I would suggest na manood kayo sa tablet or sa laptop or pas lalo na sa inyo yung TV. Mas magandang resolution. But this one is, well, pag nasa labas ka in your killing time, okay lang naman manood dito sa phone na ito. If you're considering a light and small phone, this 2022, the iPhone 13 mini is definitely one of the best out there still as of now for you. Maybe siguro before lumabas si iPhone 14 this coming September. This one is probably one of my top choice if you're looking for something small and light on the pocket. But if you're planning to buy one of these, check out Gadget Plus. Eh. But of course, if you're planning to buy one of these, check out Gadget Plus TK by Mike Chu. I'll be posting its Facebook page on the description below. Check nyo lang. And of course, mention lang si Gadget Sidekick para makakuha kayo ng extra little discount. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click the bell icon para ganahin na gumawa pa ng more videos like this one at i-share sa inyo para ma-enjoy nyo and more information na bibigay sa inyo from my channel. And so, ako nga pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. What's up?